كوغوني في سلام انا بس مرحبا حبيبتي يو جايز او جاش ات از بين لونج لونج داي جست لايك اي يا كان وي جست لايك هاف مومنت ات بين لونج داي um and it is only thursday and tomorrow seems like will be a ridiculously long day um i just long and stressful so i just i really wanted to kind of turn on the camera and be blinded by this light but i lost light outside like this like it was like still sunny kind of when i got home and then all of a sudden like pitch black um anyways i just really wanted to come here and chat about makeup and like just just have a beat um so i thought i was going back through some of the uh requests and ideas and suggestions for videos and one of you had left a comment a while back saying why don't you do a video on like oldies but goodies things that have kind of stood the test of time um i took an additional spin on it to like as i was going through my drawers of stuff i'm like what are things that are really great products that i like was super obsessed with and, and hardcore about and then kind of put to the side or forgot or have been like tried and true staples um but i don't always think of in like favorites videos or just they don't get mentioned so i've got kind of a couple things in front of me that i wanted to share with you guys let me know what your um products that like the the do the same thing for you let me know <coughs> oh, let me know what those are for you okay no particular order uh the first are the becca mineral blushes i went on a hunt they started discontinuing some of these shades and i was like no i will own them all um not last summer but the summer before noelle and i were like hardcore trying to find them all like a pokemon kind of situation i'll link i have a video in which i've swatched them all this one is a gypsy it's the one that's on my cheeks today it's just a really pretty color i just love these guys they're so richly pigmented um they blend so well they're they're rich though that i will say that like if you're not used to sort of hardcore in your face blush go in gently with them but they're just they're such a beautiful formula and a great pigmentation and i think a lot of new things come out and um sometimes we lose track of these really great products so this is definitely one of them the next is the charlotte tilbury film star bronze and glow um some people like the highlight and not the bronzer most people like the highlighter and not the bronzer i think they're both really lovely staple products um this was on the market kind of before the whole highlighter highlighter trend went crazy um and it's one of still the best ones i think on the market and for me um the bronzer is a nice shade i know that she's since come out with a different um shade of it because i mean the bronzer isn't going to work for everybody's skin tone um but i just i like them both i think it's just a really great blendable pigmented formula uh without being too much so you know how sometimes if, if the pigmentation is too much you just get that kind of muddy feel um it's it's good to travel with i'm just a, a big fan of it and, and again it's one of those things that in light of all the new products that come out in the market can you tell how tired i am um it kind of gets lost in the phrase sometimes so i didn't want to mention it i have two other highlighters one is not technically a highlighter it's kat von d's thunderstruck um this came out was part of her is it the crushed metal eyeshadows i believe metal crush eyeshadows um it was a shade there and everyone went crazy about it and was sold out for the longest time and i think since the buzz has kind of quieted down a little bit it's easier to find but i always forget about like i don't know if it's gonna pick up in the camera it's got a beautiful pearlescence to it i don't know it's not quite like anything else i own um i forget about how much i loved it someone mentioned it in a video that i was watching the other day i was like oh right i love it i just it's so pretty it's not a like i love my blue highlighter but you can't always wear blue highlighter this is one that has like a little bit of a pink and blue pearl to it um so you can kind of be hardcore and rock and roll when you still have to be pulled together and professional and so um i was just reminded to pull it back out and i thought i would share it with you and the other one's going to be kind of no surprise in the world of like og highlighters it's max soft and gentle this is still in the old packaging does anyone else miss the old packaging man the new msf packaging not my favorite also can we talk about the fact that max is going to be at alta now just makes me kind of sad like i mean it's cool that it's there but it mac in my mind was mac right like it was it set its own bar um and i think it's just they didn't really put the time into upgrading their products too much or working on their marketing or like it just it really tells you where we're at in the in the 
I should have this conversation with you when I'm more coherent, but it really tells you where the industry is at and where the standards are at and what consumers are expecting, right? Um, but it's kind of a, a crazy and somewhat, not surreal, but kind of semi-surreal kind of moment that this is where we're at. Anyways, Max Loft and Gentle, irrespective of wherever you sell this, um, Max Loft and Gentle is a great, Max Loft and Gentle, such a great product. Um, again, one of those that, that was the, some of the original OG kind of highlighters and I think sometimes gets forgotten again. Um, that's that guy right there. It's interesting, a lot of these are highlighters. I think there's been such a big highlighter craze. Some of the original products that are really, really great products have gotten lost in the fray. So it's just, it's nice to get to highlight them. Ha <laughs> ha, highlight them, get it. Uh, once more. Uh, a cream color base that I don't think it's much love is Benefits cream color base. This one is in my two cents. It's a really pretty coppery color. Um, they're just, they're just really pretty pigmented, blendable products that I think don't get too much love. The one thing I will say about them is some of the colors, especially like the lighter pastel colors, this one's lasted a good amount of time, but the lighter pastel colors do dry out a little bit quicker than most. So just something to keep an eye on, but um, they're just really pretty and I don't think they get enough love. A gel liner that I love is the Tarte. This guy lasts forever, it doesn't dry out. It's just, I've got the one from the Rainforest of the Sea was it the Rainforest of the Sea? I don't think it was. It was before that. I forget what collection it came out in. Um, anyways, it lasts forever. It's really a nice product. And um, I know the gel eyeliner is one of the biggest concerns that they dry out so quick. So I just wanted to mention that one. And then the last one I have is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. If you're like me and you've got eyebrow hairs that want to go everywhere, everywhere, they just don't want to stay put, hairspray hairspray for your for your brows it just keeps everything in place and it's really really great so anyways thank you guys for being like a little outlet today for me to feel like myself and human again for a little bit i feel like i'm being super melodramatic there's nothing big and crazy it was just like a long stressful week at work right so um it's nice to have these beautiful positive outlets that's probably my first point of positivity <laughs> my second is this lipstick which is i should know this kat von d I'll put it in the description box, but it's making me super happy. <laughs> and then uh, my third point of positivity is that tomorrow is Friday. So, I mean, come on. I will talk to you guys soon. Um, let me know what's making you smile before I leave you, though. As always, let me remind you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.